afternoon Mets fans and welcome to a Thursday edition of Driving with Mr. Met. I am Mr. Met and no we're not going to be talking much about the Mets today because of course the Mets haven't done very much since uh, my last video because the season is over for them. But baseball is not over. Um, we had two exciting games that I want to talk about. Uh, one certainly more exciting than the other but uh, two play-in games that are now done and the, the field is set for the divisional series round of the MLB playoffs. I want to talk about um, talk about the wild card games and uh, talk about the, the upcoming uh, DS games that uh, are starting tonight. So with that being said, let's get started. There are a number of people who believe that baseball is boring. And uh, for those people, I get it, I guess. Um, I don't agree, but uh, I guess I get it. <clears throat> uh, but Tuesday night's National League wildcard game between the Cubs and the Rockies was anything but boring. Uh, it was a, a barn burner of a game. It was an extra innings game. It was a pitcher's duel, um, which I don't know that anybody expected. Um, it was uh, it was a, a two to one victory for the Colorado Rockies over the hometown Chicago Cubs, and it was about as exciting a game as you can watch. Um, knowing the stakes, you know, knowing the circumstances of uh, you know winning you're in and losing you're done. Uh, I love the wild card. I really do. I love that single game plan. Um, you know, the downside to it is that. The Cubs had a great season, and it sucks that they only got one shot to win. Um, but you know, the game the day before on Monday, <clears throat> the Cubs had a chance to set the table for themselves, and they didn't do so. They they lost the um, the National League uh, Central Division to the Milwaukee Brewers, and um, you know they put themselves into that position uh, of of being stuck in that one game playoff. Same thing could be said for the, uh, the, you know, the Dodgers and the Rockies. You know, they played on Monday as well. Um, the Dodgers, of course, won the game and um, went on to, the, to, to win the uh, NL West. And um, the Cubs lost and the Brewers won. They won the National League Central. Um, those two were also fun games. So, you know, the, the playoffs are what they are. But I'll tell you, the, the, to have two game 163s to determine division winners and then set the table for two more games that were going to be played the next day, uh, or, I mean, that's just, that's just exciting, exciting, exciting stuff. Um, and I, I, I loved it. So I, I, was, I was really, really happy for the Brewers to, uh, to, to see them win the Central. And um, as, as much as I wanted the Rockies to win the West, I was just glad that they went on to beat the Cubs. I'm of the opinion of um, uh, of wanting to see new teams in the playoffs more often than not, and you know, seeing the same old stuff all the time, like the Rocky or the um, the Dodgers rather, they won the West like six years in a row or seven years in a row. Um, I think a lot of that, frankly, comes from being a Mets fan and being tortured by the fact that the Braves were sort of like the 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 National League Eastern Division champions on opening day. <laughs> you know, there was like 14 years in a row that the Braves won the division. <clears throat> and it's just nice for me to see new teams coming along and and putting up a fight and being in the hunt. Um, it was cool that the Brewers, like I said, won the Central. Um, and that wild card game was just absolutely wild between the Rockies and the Cubs. You know, the, the, the Rockies were... Um, were in Milwaukee and then they had to fly to Chicago and I mean that, that's just it's just awesome or sorry the the the, the Brewers um, the, the Rockies rather were in um, LA sorry so the Rockies were in LA they lose the one game uh, game game 163 they fly from LA in the middle of the night to Chicago and uh, have to play the, the Cubs, and they won. You know, it was it was just awesome. It was gr a great atmosphere, great environment, and um, so the, the NL is set. Um, the uh, the Dodgers are going to play the Braves, and <clears throat> the uh, Brewers are going to play the Rockies in the National League Division Series round. Uh, I have the Dodgers beating the Braves 
in uh, five in, in uh, sorry in uh, four games, and I have the Brewers beating the Rockies in three. I do think the Brewers are going to sweep. I really like Milwaukee. I think they are going to win the pennant. Uh, I think they're going to win the National League pennant and represent the NL in the uh, World Series. Um, I am a National League guy. <clears throat> I love I love the strategy. <clears throat> Excuse me. I love the strategy that comes into uh, operating an, a game for uh, nine innings and having to, to figure out, am I going to pinch hit or am I not going to pinch hit? Um, to me, that's exciting. I love watching a manager sort of think that through. Um, and, you know, it was interesting to see both Joe Madden and Bud Black pull, uh, make double switches to, to, uh, to pull pitchers. And in doing so, pull two really, 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 like superstar caliber players, Charlie Blackman and Anthony Rizzo. And those two guys were out of the game in the seventh inning, and the game continued on for like seven more innings after that. So there were like two or three at-bats that two all-stars didn't get to take because their managers decided to double switch them out of the game early. Um, it, it, it didn't backfire for uh, for Buddy Black, but because of course the, the Rockies went on to win, but man, who knows what would have happened if Rizzo was in the lineup and his bat was there. Uh, you know, you'll never know, um, but you know, managers tend to tinker, and Bob Melvin tinkered last night in the AL wild card game, um, starting the game with a reliever, going the the route of the uh, the, the Tampa Bay Rays. Um, I don't understand it, um, and it's not to say that the that the A's rather have a a lights out starting rotation, but I mean, starting pitchers are starting pitchers. They should be in that game on the mound. Um, I, I don't know, Edwin Jackson would have done well against the Yankees. I mean, the Yankees have a really good lineup. We know that. And um, <clears throat> I really felt like last night's game was over in the first inning. I really felt like when Judge hit that home run and the Yankees went up 2 nothing in the first inning, it was a foregone conclusion that they were going to win the game. And they, of course, went on to win 7-2. to um, The uh, So the Yankees advance in the AL, uh, win the AL wild card, advance to the divisional round where for the first time since 2004 they will play the Red Sox in the playoffs and of course we all remember what happened in 04 uh, I'm really looking forward to that Yankees Red Sox series um, and on the other side of the uh, American League you've got the returning champion Houston Astros up against the Indians that's going to be a great series also uh, it's an ALCS rematch I, from last year. It's awesome. I, I'm, I think the playoffs are really set up to be like, intriguing and fun. Um, I do think the Red Sox will beat the Yankees. Uh, sorry, Yankees fans, um, or, or whatever. Uh, but, I, I mean, the Red Sox, I've talked about them before. Um, having gotten a chance to see them in person uh, earlier, um, I guess last month in, in Boston, uh, when the Mets were in town at Fenway, uh, and you know, watching them all season, I I call the Red Sox a uh, a five tool team. But I think the Red Sox do everything. Um, <laughs> they they run the base as well. They play tremendous defense. They hit for power. They're fast. Um, they hit for contact. There's not one piece that you can pull away from the Red Sox and expose a weakness. Because if you expose one of their weaknesses, they exploit that exposition with two or three of their strengths. They are just a solid all-around team, and I do think the Yankees will fall to the Red Sox. I'm going to say the Yankees will win one game, so I'm going to say Boston's going to win in four. And on the other side, I'm giving the nod to the Astros because I just think their pitching is a teeny bit better than the Indians pitching, which is stellar. Um, but, you know, the competition for the Indians this year in the Central was was minimal, to say the least. Um, and, you know, when you play a third of your games against really inferior teams, I really feel like the Indians should have won 100 games this year, and they didn't. Um, and I'm not saying that wins matter because of the DeGrom thing, but when you're judging a team, wins certainly do matter. And I think the Indians should have been able to win more than they did. Um, Houston is a, a another really solid team. Uh, I have the Astros taking uh, taking the series from uh, the Indians and facing off with the Red Sox in the ALCS. That game and uh, that matchup rather is a total coin toss for me. I don't know. I don't know that there's a better matchup um, from a fan's perspective that'll be more even than the Red Sox and the Astros. 
in the postseason. Um, I'm going to take the uh, Red Sox to upend the Astros in the ALCS. I think they're going to go seven. I think it's going to be an awesome, 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 awesome ALCS. And we're going to have Boston and Milwaukee in the World Series. And I'm giving the nod to the Red Sox. That's my prediction there. Five games, Red Sox over the Brewers. So, that's my playoff prediction show. I didn't even know that I was going to do something like this, but I ended up doing it. So, I uh, did want to talk about the playoffs. I'm glad I was able to do that. Um, I will probably be back early next week. I want to start talking a little bit about uh, getting back to Mets stuff and talking about uh, the GM search, uh, some roster options uh, for um, filling the position players, uh, roles for next year, um, some things that I've been reading and hearing on other podcasts and reading on Mets blog and other areas. Um, I want to talk about some of those possibilities and address some of those thoughts and rumors. So that'll be next week. Until then, um, thanks for watching. Enjoy the playoffs. I know I will. Um, it is nice to be able to just watch a baseball game and not be like totally invested in it like I am when the Mets play and where I'm like living and dying by every pitch. Um, so I'm looking forward to the playoffs. Hope you guys are too. Um, follow me on Twitter if you're not already doing so, at Mr. Underscore Met. And as always, thanks for watching, and let's go Mets.